Now, as you may be aware, and as it has come to pass, I am reviewing all or most of the new Jack Wolf line from the Jack Wolf Knife Company, you know, all the patterns. But I'll be doing another giveaway and multiple giveaways of them because I already have a ton of knives I don't use. So maybe a lucky viewer can also add another knife to their collection they don't use. So head on over to the Instagram feed where you'll be seeing the details soonish, you know. I am lazy, so sometimes it takes me a few weeks to get around to them. But today we're looking at the K9 Jack. So named as it comes from the olden time where it was okay to remove a leg from a dog, trace it, hang the picture of the tracing on a wall, and then uh, on your little drawing table, draw a smaller version of that picture, then trace that smaller drawing onto some wood with some carbon paper so you can make your prototype handle for a new knife pattern called the dog leg. You know, that dog was getting pretty old anyway, and you know, back then that was considered honorable. Now just wait until I tell you the story of how Case was able to perfect the sheep's foot blade. So, the K9 Jack here isn't a massive knife, but it ain't a tiny one either. We can see by our handy dimensions title card here, you know, the blue line shots, you know, the series of them are gone, because we live in a, a different era now, no longer as innocent as two years ago. For example, we used to think butts were icky, and now, now they're pretty cool, you know? Stuff like that. Now, I don't know what that has to do with the blue lines, but uh, I don't have a lot of time to write this video due to needing more personal time this month. And that means uh, less time for the flowery prose in my little YouTube scripts. I know, the world is an unforgiving collection of atomic and subatomic particles. So here we have the K9 Jack. Uh, Jack Wolf, a little on the tube here, it shows that he's uh, he may have a little bit of a behavioral problem, may need a training class. He's got uh, rabies is it rabies I'm not I'm not sure I do remember when dogs were called Fido and Rover though and now they're named stuff like Jeff or Bela Bella so, <laughs> so yeah I'm, I'm thinking of I'm thinking of the actor and people thinking of Frozen so K9 because of handle shape but in this section of the video we're talking about the blade as my video formula now states now like the other Jack Wolf knives this one has a hollow grind it's made from the M390s now, as you know now, the M390s are basically the new S30Vs of knife steels because of the frequency it gets used in modern pocket knives. You know, the knife committee met and said uh, M390s is the new steel, so, you know, here we are. Another thing they also decided at these committees is uh, they said it would be okay for smaller boutique knife companies to curry the favor of the influencer community by remixing the Sabenza finger groove drop point formula and when rave reviews, so you get stuff like your quiet carry in your uh, bowl knives. M390 is chosen for its corrosion resistance, its wear resistance, and the ability to keep price points in a healthy place for manufacturers. Now this time we're looking at a nice spear point here with a little, little swedge up top for flare and because it's traditional style we have a nail nick. And the Jack Wolf knives are known for their thin near the edge hollow grinds and sharp edges. Very sharp. You can cut yourself pretty easy on them. Now the other notable things about the Jack Wolf knives are the good strong pole and the flush in all three position backspring. Now these two go hand in hand. The pole here is a little less than the previous Midnight Jack coffin pattern, but on par with the rest. None of the lineup so far has had a weak pole or a mushy backspring, which I think is probably the worst thing in a slip joint for my tastes. You know, it can have a dull blade, blade wrap, splotchy micarta not have perfectly flush liners or scales, be slightly off-centered, but a weak back spring is going to really kill it for me. Now here you can pinch and pull the blade easily. I prefer a pinch and a pull to a nail nick, personally, on a stronger spring knife. I like a little bit of real estate up there so you can just do, do you know, open up your little pocket knife, cut your apple, break down your Amazon box, the usual. That's, uh, that's about all we do with them these days. Can't wait till we all have our little Amazon cities, you know, we work for uh, our Amazon government. It'll be fun. <laughs> They're not going to exploit us, totally. They're, they're going to be real cool. I know it. Now, it is, again, the, the backspring is flush in all three positions here, meaning it's that glass-like smoothness in the closed, and then at the half stop, and then at the fully open position. And I'll, I'll do this again here, you know, so you can see that. Now, there's no real reason a knife needs to be flush at the half stop backspring other than so people who make YouTube videos like myself about knives stress its importance on a high quality knife. Oh yeah, you know this one's a, a good one because it's got the, the I, don't, I don't even know what you call it, the three-stage flush. No, that's, that sounds like uh, something that has to do with the toilet. I think I only have one or two other knives that do this. Again, it's, it's not real. It's not real important. It's just kind of cool. Sorry I say that sometimes and I, I realize that what I'm saying is not cool. 
So what are your interests? Well, I like uh, pocket knives, video games, and hentai. Now the handle itself is constructed like the other Jack Wolf knives. It's made from bead blasted titanium, then integral liner bolsters with your choice of covers. Now this time there's gonna be two carbon fiber options and two micarta options. Now here's some of the past micarta offerings side by side. In my opinion, it's a pretty nice looking micarta. At least the, the company that makes them gives them a good choice. As always, these are split up among the dealers here, so your best chance of scoring a limited quantity carbon fiber option is to have the drop times down on these various websites and check out, you know, in a minute or so or under, that, that seems to be the best. Sometimes people are saying they're gone in 30 seconds, so good luck. However, people who have the ability to score a Great Eastern Cutlery, they have that sort of discipline, they can get these, okay? Those, are, those guys are pros. Now, as far as I know, Jack Wolf in their introductory pattern releases produces a few hundred of each pattern. And then when they're done, they'll probably revisit the patterns provided, you know, they, they did well. Don't know if there's going to make changes to them. I, I don't see what more you could change other than like, you know, changing like the bolsters to like polished or something. I, that's what I would do, you know, kind of mix up the look a little bit because bead blast seems to be like the, you know, the high end look right now. And I, I like the polished myself, you get a little bit of wear on them. That's part of the, part of the fun of a traditional now, all prior patterns have sold out, and the Micarta options are usually the ones that hang around the most, you know, for a few minutes or a few days afterwards. So those are, your, you know, you'll still be able to score a Micarta, I'm sure. And there's even an international dealer, too, for the international crowd. All right, comparisons. First, the K9. It's not massive. Doesn't quite have the grip real estate to do the four-finger grip on the non-bolster area for my average knife bro hands. You know, I guess you can shift them around, and it, it works okay for you. A lot of my favorite Great Eastern cutleries are like that. And after you carry enough slip joints, you don't really care about the size that much anymore. Unless it's too tiny. These are like my office knife. Now the Midnight Jack. You've seen this one before. So uh, I guess we'll just go through a size comparison between all the jacks here. I, it's hard for me to decide now that I've had all of them, which is my favorite. I thought it was a sway back first. But, I, you know, the spear point on the on the canine is just looks really good and I do like the dog leg pattern. I got the little bro jack here. Remember I reviewed this but it's still coming out in the future. They had a little issue of blade wrap they're trying to correct. And then the laid back jack. Their sway back pattern. Now I'd like to see in the comments which jack wolf you'd like me to give away over on Instagram next and unscientifically I'll see which one I feel like is mentioned the most in the comments here and uh, we'll pick that one. Now the Benchmade proper. This one had its mushy back spring Fixed by master knife maker Sean Yah. You remember knife he made for my channel? This one right here, it's amazing. And it is part of an upcoming video. But the back spring on the proper is now perfect for me. And finally, the Northwoods Indian River Jack. Now I think this may sound a little sacrilegious, but spear point side by side, I think the proportions on the K9 look better. And that hollow grind and that brushed, you know, you know, I guess you got the carbon, it's no traditional, so okay. I get it old guys. We're going to wrap it up. Jack Wolf drops its run this Friday on the K9. The usual sites. <laughs> get a little. Get, does its drop. You got to bring a little back. It's like, you know, taking your dog on a walk. And, and never mind. Now, as you know, Ben designs the knives and they're made by a high quality OEM in China. There is one person, I believe, that said that it was not clear that that's where they're made. And that is very clear. It says it on the can, it says it on the website. I'm saying it now. Ben says it. Ben posts over on blade forums you know god help them it's brutal over there but it's not riot but it's riot like now let me know down below which one you like me to give away say hi to the patrons they brought my computer and camera into the 4k area so a big thanks to them and then you can uh, like you can subscribe you can comment and i would like to thank you for watching the video you know and i'm not sure why i said area instead of era